Hey, right, what's up everyone? Gotta put my boots on. Ugh. Boots, boots. Such an exciting beginning to the video. here in uh, Rafine, Virginia. The Old Whites. How much time do I have? Come on, five minutes. All right, we can we can scoot up front. We gotta get up here and get us a little bit of scooting. Oh, scooting up front to get some fuel. Mm. And we're about to get something else. First, we gotta get out of here. Get up to the fuel pump, the fuel aisle. There's a uh, there's a pretty good little storm there. It's kind of to the west of us. <clears throat> We're heading up to Lock Haven, PA. I know it's going to be snowing up there later. But right now, it's okay. Oh man, I should have turned there. But, uh, but there's, you know, there's this little, little storm. I don't even want to call it little. It's pretty good size. A little bit west of us. It's coming this way, so <clears throat> they're about to get snow here. On the weather app, it said that there were <clears throat> snow here from, well, I actually said it's snowing now, but it's not. They said from now until like 6 p.m. <clears throat> today. So that means we got to get out of here. Don't get stuck here. And hopefully we don't get stuck in Pennsylvania. We got a load that we're gonna pick up, <coughs> man. Excuse me. Pick up and deliver today from Lock Haven over to Columbus, but that's not gonna happen. This load here, we got <coughs> we got stuck over. We picked up in Anderson, South Carolina. <coughs> and we got stuck there. Not as bad as last time. I was there about seven hours, but this time it was about three, three and a half around there somewhere. And unfortunately it's gonna make us late to, to deliver this one. This one's supposed to be delivered 10 a.m. You know, it's almost eight o'clock now. We still got 300 miles to go, so. So it made us behind on this one here. it's gonna make us you know late to pick up the next load and I'm not gonna be able to deliver it tonight <clears throat> so, so I'm gonna have to make a call and see what they want me to do either or give the load back or just let me pick it up and I'll deliver it you know Monday afternoon or so I just don't want to get stuck in Pennsylvania that's my thing because you know how you know pin dot is man with the storms you know they get a little storm over here, they'll, they'll shut down all the highways and then we're stuck. So that's what's happening.
he made it. Good for him. He's still it's these fuel pumps. It's like this place is pretty good size. It's, I like coming here. But this is the only thing that's like fudged up is the fuel pumps, man. It's like they put all this I mean I ain't like some of these old timers been coming here for years, but I don't they obviously they put the fuel pumps and so they expanded the building and everything is coming closer together now. Now it just makes it harder. travel the old whites travel center saying uh, 10 being the best 10 coffees 10 being the best out of 10 how, how, how would you rate the old whites travel plaza getting food was sucky yeah yeah the food thing was terrible like Papa John's was just that they were that, that dude was like overwhelmed <clears throat> So what do you it think? Like it was a, as good as like, I don't know, not as good as I-80. Not as good almost. as I-80. <laughs> almost. Really like I-80. Yeah. And Joplin. And Joplin. Joplin. I shop a lot. Oh, shopping. Joplin. I like Joplin. I'm probably, it's probably my favorite. But this one's okay. But, uh, you stop here because you can get caribou coffee. <laughs> All right, here we got a ooh de-icer, just in case. I mean, we are going through Pennsylvania. And as far as I know, we're going into Ohio. Ohio's not supposed to be that bad today. A little bit, not that bad, but I could could feel it. Yeah, that snow's coming. <clears throat> So we don't want to get stuck with uh with nothing. No cleaner, so so we'll just bought a bottle here just to top her off. Come on. There we go. I don't think it's gonna get that cold where I gotta worry about alcohol put alcohol in there or something like the temperature said it was supposed to be like like the high 20s low 30s so we'll see how it if it gets worse we got a bottle we can throw in if we have to all right good stuff Got the missus with me this trip. Oh yeah. She got me some caribou coffee. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna go drink some caribou. I got a 
finished up the pre-trip. Oh, look at this, I forgot. Oh man, that would have been disastrous. Come on. Yeah, look at that. Here we go. Anybody? Anybody? Anybody need a shifter extension for a Freightliner? If anybody wants it, it's all yours. I got other parts for the for a Freightliner too. I ain't gonna work on this thing. We gotta get out of here. I'll talk to you guys a little bit. Yeah, we're here. Knock Haven, PA. Look at this. Oh, come on. Well, you just have to take my word for it, but I'm the only one in the dock. <laughs> All the way down here. Door number Lucky 13. Yeah. Where are we at? There we are. 13. They're getting me unloaded now. Still red light. It's, uh, they had the, uh, Pennsylvania commercial truck ban is in effect. And, uh, let's see what we got going on over here. Not too, not too bad. Oh yeah, they're in there. They're in there. But, uh, yeah, it's like, it's after four o'clock. We gotta get, get to the TA. It's like nine miles down the road. Hopefully it won't get busted. Even if I do get pulled over, I'll just gonna be like, what? What? I'm just trying to get to the TA. Ban, what's that? <laughs> so, yeah. Look at this thing. Dang, dirty. Yeah. Let's see if we can make it to the, uh, to the TA over there pile of dirty snow. Let's see what's going on over here. Still got the red light. Red light! Still in effect! It's alright. Hopefully too much longer. Being the only one in the dock, you would not, you would think. Change right now. Pink. <laughs> oh, uh, keep on watching. Come on. Ah, no. Dang it. Oh well. Uh, well. Yeah. On the other side, we had a load that we were picking up at their other other location. You know, here in Lock Haven. It's like six miles down the road. Uber said, yeah, we'll take that load back. Thank you. <laughs> so, which is good because uh, not that I would be able to pick it up anyway. And, oh, no. And I wouldn't be able to deliver it since I can't get it back on the road till tomorrow. So, but I did find another load that picks up here tomorrow morning going to Chesapeake, Virginia. So, I don't know. You never know. And it paid more than what the load they took, took away from me. So, I don't know. It may be all in good. All in good. Oh, last check. Oh. All right, we gotta get back in. Let's see if we can get back. Look at this, man. Ooh, ah. Yeah. Red light. Yeah. We uh, we gotta get to the TA without getting busted. So let's get out of here. All right, unloaded. Yeah. Ah. Last one in the dock. How you like that? Empty. 
guess they didn't want their bills. Guess I'll throw that over. Oh, it's got water in it. <laughs> Yeah, we got a, uh, what's the TA over here? Lamar. It's actually right off 80. Nine miles. So, hopefully we can make it. Be in the van and everything. You either or get pulled over and play dumb, or they won't even bother you because they know what's going on, so. Let's get out of here. Whew, man, well, TA didn't quite happen. We are we're about five, six miles down the road from where we were at. At the old, what is this, the Bald Eagle truck stop. Doesn't have very many parking. Probably like it says 20 parking spots or so. But we uh Yeah, I went to leave. I was talking to the guard and stuff, and he said that you know that there was a ban on the highway for trucks. I said, Yeah, I know. I was like, but I uh it's like I'm just getting down to TA and he says, Man, I wouldn't recommend that. So he said that there's been drivers coming in saying that yeah, they were at that TA Flying J just to come down here and $800 fine. He said if you just stay on the road that we're at, like Highway 220, and just take it down and you'll run into this little place. And he didn't do me wrong, man. He was legit. And it was right here and had us a couple parking spots. So, well, shower tomorrow. How about that? <laughs> If you're a trucker, you got baby wife, so you know what I mean. <laughs> We're gonna stay here for the night, see what happens in the morning. It's supposed to be a pretty good amount of snow the rest of the night, so. This is where we're at. Holy cow, look at that bumper. Whoa, that thing's jacked up. <laughs> Golly, man. We gotta. Well, there's no nobody. He just dropped the trailer. Dang! I guess you can get away with it in Pennsylvania. But, um, yeah. Let's go get something to eat. Call tonight. At least I got the wife with me. We'll be staying warm tonight. Yeah! <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. From Lock Haven, PA. Ah, ah. Talk to you guys later.